famed muralist Diego Rivera referred to his art as so great that perhaps one day his name will be forgotten. In 1933, reporter for the New York World Telegram, Joseph Mitchell, describes his interview with artist Frida Kahlo in her New York apartment. Thumbtacked all along the walls of the hotel suite were some very odd engravings printed on the cheapest kind of newsprint. Jose Guadalupe Posada, Kahlo said, almost reverentially. Mexican. 1852 to 1913. She told me that she had put the pictures up herself so she could glance at them now and then and keep her sanity while living in New York City. Shrouded in myth, called a revolutionary, artist of the people, the Goya of Mexico, and yet virtually unknown. Osada's art lampooned corrupt politicians, captured the Mexican Revolution, 40 years after his death played a role in the Cuban Revolution, chronicled Mexican culture, adorn concert tickets of the Grateful Dead, and today leaps to life annually as the skeletal images seen in each November during the Mexican Observance Day of the Dead. I was astonished by these pictures, and what I found most astonishing about them was that all of them were humorous, even the most morbid of them. It was the kind of humor that the old Dutch masters caught in those prints that show a miser locked in his room, counting his money, and death is standing just outside the door. It was Old Testament humor, particularly the humor in Proverbs and Ecclesiastics, Gogolian humor, Brugelian humor. I am thinking of that painting of Brugel showing the halt leading the blind, which, as I see it, is graveyard humor. Anyway, ever since that afternoon in Frida Kahlo's hotel suite, I have been looking for books showing Posada engravings. My respect grows for him all the time. Jose Guadalupe Posada lived over 100 years ago, dying in obscurity, yet his legacy to generations of artists drives the imagery of today's movements, like Occupy, Immigration Reform, and Civil Rights.